Hey everybody, just a quick update on this uh, 1995 Canadale R600 uh, with no decals. Um, I might have not mentioned the very first video I did on this bike that, because in fact uh, the serial number does say that it's GA, uh, so January 1995 is a serial number date on it. Um, but a little more interesting, I never really thought too much about what was on here as far as the System 2, System 3 components, the handlebar, the stem, and the actual C post system two. Turns out those are actually Trek components. I've never been a Trek person. I, I mean, I've ridden. I, I owned a Trek mountain bike years ago, but I've never really known much about Trek or their parts. So I was, in, I was very interested to find out that, in fact, these are uh, Trek brand components on this Canada bike. And it kind of continues to lead me to believe that this really was either a demo model that a, a bike shop here in town, you know, built up or something that was completely overhauled and upgraded at some point in time. Um, because as we see, like I probably mentioned in the first video, it's got everything is Shimano 600. Uh, the front derailleur, the crank set, the rear derailleur, the brakes, um, the shifters are these uh, Shimano STI 600, uh, and even the hubs are Shimano 600, which would definitely be an upgrade to, you know, this is the R600 model, and I know in the, thanks to VintageCanada.com, that this, this would have come with all basically either RX100, RX100, a mix of RX100 and 105 parts. And so this, these are all these old Tegra parts that would have been an upgrade, would have normally come on the R800, which was the step up. And so I think that this, this bike was definitely built up. Either they had the frame and the fork and they built it up with the, all the old Tegra parts. Um, I mean, the pedals, they were just these, you know, you probably saw in the other video that these were just, they just had, uh, you know, toe clip in, you know, straps, and they're kind of like a no name. I don't even know what brand they are, they don't say. But according to, um, you know, according to the catalog, they're, no, they're supposed to come with look, you know, clipless look, you know, pedals, which these are not. So it's just interesting. Uh, I measured it, I think it's a 58, it measures right at 23 inches. So it's a little bit bigger than I thought. I thought it was a 56. And uh, I'm kind of wondering about taking this seat, this old specialized um, body geometry s saddle off of here and, and trying to match it with my Brooks bar tape and get a really nice like Honey B17 Brooks saddle just to kind of, kind of you know, just to complete the look on here. So anyway, interesting. I just had it kind of tuned up. The front derailleur wasn't working. My local bike shop fixed it up for me. Um, my wife's been riding it. She really enjoys it. I've been wondering about also, let me know what you guys think about eventually replacing these tires. Really nice Continental Gator skins, um, but I'd really like some kind of more of like a gum wall, sidewall tire. Let me know if you think that'd be like worth it, worth the upgrade. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for a good brand that you like. This is a, it's a 700C tire and it's a 23C width. So I don't think I can even fit a 25 I don't have a ton of room down here, so I really think I gotta stick with the 23s on this thing. Anyway, no, let me let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Bye.